the main man himself from United Stand TV. Yes. You know what I mean? The legend. <laughs> Spurs, we beating them 1-0. How do you feel? Buzzing. Yeah. Absolutely buzzing. Like, my voice is nearly gone. Yeah. I predicted a 2-1 win. Yeah. But no matter what it was, I, I predicted we'd win. Yeah. I, just, I just felt like we're back. I felt like we're going to trust in what Oli's saying and the players would. They had a whole week in Dubai. The feeling, I just had the feeling that we were that we were going to get the win. There's a lot of positivity amongst the, the players and yeah. the club and the fans at the moment. Mm. You know, it's, it's a good time for us at the moment. So, did, did that contribute to your confidence going into this game? One hundred percent. You hit the nail on the head there. Just the feel-good factor with it. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. There was an error of caution. I didn't think we'd come and blow them out the, out the park, and we didn't. It was a very tough game, and I, I knew it would be a tough game. Um, but I actually did say before the game as well, though, because I was asking a lot of fans, is this a must-win game or a must-not-lose game? For me, it was a must-not-lose. You know, I would have taken a draw. I said that before the game. If someone would have offered me that before the game, I would have taken it um, in the circumstances because there's a long way to go. Obviously, you always want to win. And, and like I said, that I was kind of... To, to be fair, I was kind of contradicting myself. I said I would take a draw, but I was predicting a win. Do you know what I'm saying? But, I was like, but that was me saying worst case. Do you know what I'm saying? The worst case scenario, I just didn't think we'll come here and lose today. You know? and, and we haven't. What, what, what not surprising, what impressed me most is that we had to have a lot of level of um, containment today. You know, solid at the back. We, you know, our pressing was good. When they got into our final third, a lot of their shots were blocked, especially in the first half. But our counter attack. Yeah, you know, yeah. under Jose, yeah. he would put an attacking lineup in inverted commas out on the field, like that same similar lineup, mm -hmm. but it wouldn't be set up to counter. Today it was yeah. set up to counter, and I don't know if a lot of people have seen at home. Jesse played like in a false nine position today, mm -hmm. and and. When he was there, his touch was good, his movement was good, he was coming off that, 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 that final third into the midfield, picking up little bits. Yeah. And then they were interchanging and Rashford would come in up front. And yeah, you yeah, can yeah. tell that fluidity is there from Oli. Yeah. You can tell he's just basically staying true to all of his word, mm. which is, I want these guys to express themselves. Mm. I want them to be happy playing football mm. and to, to do, adhere to the traditions of the club. He's doing that. Now, doing Oli, Oli, he, he, he really does love Rashford because mm. Like he said that, or uh, this report saying that he wants uh, Rashford to be the main striker, the number nine. Yeah. Like, now he's finished today. Like for me, it was reflective of what Oli Solskjaer used to do yeah. in, that, in that position. Yeah. Now, do, are, are you are you happy with the fact that he's putting his faith in Rashford? One hundred percent. One hundred percent. I, for me, the jury was out on Rashford in terms of his best position. Mm. Like prior to this, into, mm. like we've seen him on the left, we've seen him on the right, we've seen him up front. There, there have been games where Oberhand I've gone. Well, he's had a few run, a run of games under Jose up front. He hasn't quite cut the mustard. Mm. Realistically, it proves that it was all tactical. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, we, didn't, yeah. we didn't play to his strengths. We, we were a shambles under Jose, we know that. Mm. But under Oli, especially with the type of striker he was as well and what he's got experience-wise, mm. he's just, we're playing to the, his guy, this, this guy's strength. The cock is sitting there thinking, I'm in some serious trouble. <laughs> He, Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, because he, really, he is, he is. he's turned into the Oli rub. He's yeah, turned yeah, into yeah. try and be the super sub because Trust, yeah, there is no way in hell he should be starting a game now. And even not even about an agenda about Lukaku. Some people say, oh, you're always bashing him, flips. It's not even about that. If you just strip it down to basically Sunday league football, Saturday league football, yeah. uh, amateur, play good, you keep your shirt. Yeah. That front three, yeah. You can't change it. Yeah, you can't. Do you know what I mean? All yeah. you can do is maybe maybe Alexis maybe coming in, but even that now. He's a sick note now, isn't he, at the moment? He is a sick yeah, note. Yeah, yeah. So, and we've got to see a lot more to come from him. Right now, the front three has to be that. The midfield three has to be that. The, the full backs. To be fair, it has to be obviously Luke Shaw. Ashley Young at right back. I'll take that to the end of the season and bring in the lot here and there, keep the confidence. And the centre half situation. Where he, look, Phil Jones was my biggest worry today. He's my biggest worry every time he fucking plays. But I said before the game, he needs to have one of them one in 15 games where he plays good. And he did. But he, he's always prone to a mistake. Always. Probably, probably, I'm not saying I want him to stay in that yeah, position. I'm yeah, just yeah. saying he needed to have a good game today and he did. Lindelof. Cemented his feet. No, oh, he's, 100%. He, he, he has, he's, he's, he's been like that all season, mm. to be fair to him. But you know, you look how he's, he took him a while to get into it. People were saying he's not good enough and all this. Look now, do you know what I'm saying? He's got confidence. So for me, the other centre half position, because obviously Smalling will still be Smalling. He's better than Jones, but even he's got, you know, so you're looking at Bailly, I don't know what's going on there. So uh, for me, that, that, that centre that centre back position is up for grabs for whoever wants to start playing well with some confidence. Obviously, don't want it to be Jones, but with mm. Bailly, it could be him. Forgive him a run of games. I know he was a bit rash, obviously, when he got sent off that time. 
because he, I think he, him and Lindelof would be formidable. And it was all ever in January if we go and get maybe a Kudu or Fulano or something. Now, what, what do you want from this season? Obviously, we're still in the Champions League. It's yeah. a tough game against PSG. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, you'll be in Paris. Yeah. Yeah. The pot, the paddy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll be there. Man. I'll try and get that in yeah, out there if I can. Yeah, yeah. Um, obviously, we're still in the FA Cup. Yeah. But we've got top four to think about to try and get in the Champions League next season. Uh, yeah. Unless we win the Champions League mm. in itself. Mm. Would you want us to, to, to prioritise? I don't think we need to prioritise anything. I don't think we should be trying to hold back for this or hold back for that. Mm. I think, and I, I don't think Oli will do that because, mm. again, he's been talking so much about Man United with this, with that. This is how we play. This is the duty. What I love about him is we have a duty too. Yeah, yeah, do you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have to we have do to, this yeah, yeah, yeah. because we are Man United. Yeah. He always keeps going back to it. Mm. And with that philosophy that he's already bringing, brought back with feeling as well, mm. like you said in, in our interview, feeling coming back into there. It's, it's, it's just Man United in there. Mm. Do you see what I'm saying? Mm. So, in terms of prioritising anything, no, I don't think we go, oh, we've got PSG, let's rest players or anything like that. We're chasing the top four, so in the Premier League, we have to just keep going, keep going, keep going. Mm. And we need a good cup run. Like, that PSG game, he owes it to the fans. Like, to, to you know, we would have been sitting ducks under Jose and PSG. When they got picked out of the hat, I was like, whoa, we're going to hold some serious L's in it, yeah, yeah. Like, Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I really yeah, thought that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not saying we're going to go and win, but what we're guaranteed to get is a team that's going to go on that pitch believing Wanting to win, they yeah, can yeah. get a result yeah, yeah. home and away against them. Mm-hmm. You know, Liverpool dealt with them at home. Mm-hmm. I know it was a bit close in the end, but they mm-hmm. first half of that game. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? So if you get after them, PSG, you can get out. You can get at them. Of course, we know the players they got. But in terms back to your question, prioritising, nah, don't, don't prioritise anything. Game by game, keep taking every game like it's our cup final mm. and attack shit out of people. And that's what we do. Oh, yeah, Solskjaer. Oh, you know yeah, what I mean? Solskjaer, he's the guy, he's the guy. <laughs> but yeah, that was, that, that was Flex, United Stand TV, my guy. Come on, you know man. I mean? Love what you're doing. Home and away, home and away.